Hi YouTubers, this is Zero Amps, and today I'm going to show you my soldering iron which I bought for $20 on AliExpress several months ago. I have very limited budget for these toys, so I decided for this one. Today I'm going to do several experiments with it and you can compare your soldering gun irons with this one. In the first experiment I'm testing the heat up speed and the power dissipation. I'm heating up the soldering iron to 500 which is the maximum which you can adjust on this soldering iron but I don't recommend it of course to do that. I usually use use it uh, adjusted on 350 depends on soldering tip yeah okay Okay, we are almost there. 400. Go, go, go. Nice. Ah, uh, we are almost there. Yeah, that's it. one minute and a half so you can compare with your soldering iron power dissipation for the soldering iron is uh, for heating up of course it's uh, about 80 watts so the soldering iron is made up to 90 watts In the second experiment I'm going to test whether the temperature 350 is really 350 or it's different. The temperature depends on your soldering tip you use. This one which I have at the moment uh, is quite big. yeah. But as you can see, the temperature is far away from 350. Yes. Okay, I don't think it will be any better. So, if I adjust 350 for this soldering iron, the real temperature on soldering tip is uh, 333. And now power dissipation for this temperature. Yes. Interesting.
Okay. So let's have a look at it. The maximum was about 15 watts. This is the last test where I'm trying to melt uh, old soldier. And on test uh, like this one, you can very quickly find the difference between cheap soldiering irons and professional ones. Yeah. Professional ones can do that very quickly. I forgot to say that temperature is uh, adjusted on 350 for this test. Yeah, but real temperature we measured yeah, is 333. Okay, it's almost done. Okay, one minute and fifteen seconds took to melt this old solder. Yeah, could be better, but for the price, yeah, it's great. And now I'm going to check the power dissipation for this test. And the maximum value was 25, which is quite low. Should be better. Yeah, professional ones can manage it better. Okay, to conclude my testing, I'm satisfied with this soldering iron. As you could see, this soldering iron is not super fast, but I think it's good enough for that price. One advantage, which I forgot to mention, that you can buy many soldering tips for this soldering iron. Okay, that's it for today. I hope it was useful and see you next time.